George, since coming back from the World Cup, you've been a key figure for the Saracen side. How have you been enjoying playing in this team this season? Yeah, good. I think we kind of you know, left, um, started off from where we left off last year. Um, we've got five wins on the bounce now and uh, yeah, just really enjoying the rugby. Playing alongside Naro Toji uh, the last couple of matches, it's forgivable that some people may forget how young this partnership is. Do you, uh, do you feel a certain pressure and expectation with that? Not really. I think you, you look across the field, you know, we've got some unbelievable leaders there. Um, you know, it's a, everything's a joint decision, so um, you know, there's, there's, there's no real pressures there. Um, and Mario's very experienced for his age. So. You're now one of the most experienced players in that position. After taking over from, from Steve Borthwick and, and playing more first team rugby, has your mindset changed? Um, maybe in the sense that you know you got to you got to uh, lead a little bit more. Uh, obviously, we've got Al Hargreaves as well, who's a who's a, a proper leader, you know, true leader from the front. And um, uh, yeah, I'd just say you know it was a learning stage for me, I guess, and, and now it's uh, put it into practice. It's, it's pretty well documented that the uh, that the team is a strong core of homegrown players, especially in the forwards. Do you think that it's a key factor? Um, in past and hopefully future successes. Yeah, I think you look at the what the pack on the weekend. Maybe five or six are from from the academy. You know, young, still young players. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty pretty exciting for us that um, you know you look at what teams you know win win these trophies, and it comes down to experience. And I think as a group, you know, we're, we're starting to build that. and have been building that for a long time now. Another massive game in Belfast this weekend. You played at Ravenhill when we uh, defeated Ulster a couple of years ago. Tell us what it's like to play in a stadium with that atmosphere. Yeah, it's epic. I think you, you kind of you go to these island uh, island clubs and you know you drive through the streets and you see the flags and the windows and you know they're a very passionate crowd and uh, I think if we can silence them early then uh, then that'll be you know pretty good for us. As a player, do you get a rush from that kind of atmosphere? Yeah, definitely. They're very like I said, very passionate crowd and uh, running out there is uh, is pretty much uh, test match intensity. Finally, George, what do Saracens need to do to come away with the points this Friday? Uh, just stick to our game plan, you know, not get um, kind of bogged under with, with the crowd and, uh, and do what we want to do.